Hey everyone, welcome back to, to Worth Playing. I moved the webcam to the other side this time. Really changing things up for the third installment in this. I uh, was really genuinely surprised by the huge response to the last one. Um, I'm not sure if it was because of the games or because <laughs> people really dig the future, uh, the feature, um, and the future of this feature. I'll just combine me not being able to speak into sentences I meant to say. Um, but one of the things I want to try this week uh, is, you know, oftentimes in Worth Reading, I feature sort of upcoming Kickstarter projects. It's kind of the one of the few ways that we cover Kickstarter games at Giant Bomb that we feel comfortable with, especially before they've been funded. So I feel like maybe there's a, a room to do a little bit more with games that actually go the extra mile and offer a playable demo of what they're making. Uh, so. In this case, it's uh, The Legend of Aya, which uh, I believe only has four days left and uh, is only about halfway towards its goal. Um, so it's got a ways to go if it's going to make it there, but, you know, they released a demo. And so uh, it's a Metroidvania game. Uh, it's being primarily developed for Windows, but the plan is to release it for PC, Mac, uh, Ouya, because I think for a lot of these games, although the Ouya is not necessarily a big platform yet, uh, it's a fairly... Not easy, uh, but also not hard task to, to port these games uh, over there. So, not sure how much there is to this demo. My guess is not a whole lot, but I'm curious to see uh, what this game's got going on. So I can jump. Got a little map in the corner. I like the animations. It's a real lengthy one when you kind of come out of a run there. Alright, seems like just jump and attack right now. Uh, my understanding is the, the pixel artist is the primary developer behind this, this game. Uh, there's a, a link to the Kickstarter if you want to see more about it, if you want to download the demo for yourself. This is not a, uh, a press-only thing. This is available to anyone, even if you're not a backer. Ooh. You actually have to press up in order to acquire the heart there. <laughs> That's quite a transformation. In order to get a, an extra health tank, I seem like that probably hurt. Oh, well, that's why I got the health tank, I guess, so I was able to do stuff like that. That little enemy there is back. Can I do a... I oh, can't double jump. Can't seem to make... Okay, there is a climbing. I guess I was just... Oh! Wasn't quite hitting it. Overkill? That's a nice touch. Might have been something back there, but I don't know. Let's just keep on keeping on. Oh, I got the deflection. I'm not sure how that works. Maybe that's some sort of inherent... magic skill that, that I have that... Uh, you know, obviously this game doesn't have its proper intro or tutorial or... A lot of the things that would introduce you to a game like this properly. You know, this is more or less a a proof of concept to show, hey, I'm I'm not one of those guys that's just trying to take your money and run. Uh, we sort of have a solid foundation of where we want to take this game. Okay. So if I hold up, I can kind of I can kind of pull some different combos. I did not realize that right off the bat. So if I hold down an attack, we got forward an attack, up an attack. And the other buttons still do anything. I like the sort of post-apocalyptic vibe it's got going on. Sort of a, a little bit like Last of Us or, or other games where you know some, something has clearly happened. Uh, and that nature has started sort of reclaiming everything around it, saying, Sorry, humans, not our problem. You decided to fuck things up. If that is the case, I'm not super clear on this game's backstory. Actually, in, in some ways, reminds me of a... Uh, of Dustin Lee's Tale uh, a little bit. Uh, a, a game whose combat I, re I really enjoyed. You know, my art was not the, my favorite thing about it, but... Oh, boy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> this may not go very well. Oh, 
Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and. Okay. Oh, that was an extra health bar, I guess. Move out of the way. Whew. Keep. I guess I just kind of, kind of dive in, get a few blows. Ugh, I'm not able to run away very well. It's making me wish I had the the dash technique from from Rogue Legacy. Boom! I'm just so good at this game. That's some serious frame rate that right there. Uh, th the rest of the game hasn't had much of a problem with frame rate, so I sort of hope that's in you know sort of one of those by design sort of things. You know, games of this era certainly did have frame rate issues, which in some ways needed to be exploited even to to play them. You know, in games like this less so. That was definitely more for the shoot 'em up, shmup genre. But it seems like, you know, this has a pretty decent foundation for this type of game. Like, obviously, the artist behind it uh, is wildly talented. Uh, you know, not much to the sound effects or music right now. Uh, it appears you're going to have, you know, like, powers of some sort. Let's see if we can find anything going on in here in the menus. Uh, we got the map. We got our little portrait of Our Lady. Just kind of push through and see what else we can see about this game before draw this to a close. I feel like that rock monster was kind of a the high point there. My guess is, you know, can I knock that down? Oh balls! Nope. Nope. Okay, here we go. Ah. Uh, uh. Made it to the other side. Knocked on that wall. Fuck you, dude. Oh. Oh. Well, hmm. Let's give this one more shot before we just say F it. I cannot seem to pull off those jumps. Uh, with any sort of regularity. Oh, I think I might have to be holding up when I actually pull it off. Okay, let's see if we can knock this door down this time. Now that we don't have anyone in our way. No? Oh, blocked. I wasn't seeing that up top. Alright, so you need something else in order to take care of that door. Let's, uh, uh let's see which right around the corner. Check out one little section. Hey, buddy. You know what? We just don't even need to. We don't need to hang out. No more health? Alright. Some health. <laughs> Definitely overkill on trying to take out uh, those Vases. Alright, so now that I've spilled over with my health, I now actually have a bonus uh, amount. Oh, wow. Yeah, the combo system's got potential. The combo system was totally what kept me interested in in Dust for the for the length of that game. I really enjoyed the story. Uh, that was a huge appeal uh, of that game. But, but definitely the combat, which, you know, kind of once you got set in your ways, uh, I wasn't as interested as much. But for a while there, uh, wildly, wildly fun. Uh, well, with that, I've now run into two different sections where I don't know how to get past. But, uh... Legend of Aya, if you uh, want to fund that, uh, it's on Kickstarter now. There's, there's a link at the beginning, there's a link in worth reading, and if you're watching this on YouTube, I have now put links to this stuff uh, below the video. Uh, you can download the demo for yourself. Uh, there's a couple links there, some of them don't work, but one of them, I think the media share one, worked for me. So uh, let's move on to the next game. All right, everyone, this is uh, Be Good. This game was a... The IGF student finalist, or won some awards related to the IGF and some other stuff. I've actually seen screens of it in the past, have not played it myself, uh, but it's been a list of things I've wanted to check out, so let's, uh, let's check out Be Good. Right off the bat, huge fan of Claymation. Uh, I should say, uh, so this is the second time, before I even start clicking, this is the second time that I've booted this, the, the game, the executable. And 
it started completely different the second time. So something tells me that's that's part of what's going on here. Alright, so I suppose I get to pick, am I happy that they're staying for dinner, or am I sad? I'm, I'm frumpy. I'm not happy they're staying for dinner. Really like how the head just twitches back and forth there. Alright, my guy, my character is being very passive-aggressive. right this is like a weird amateur hour version of the neverwood right neverwood okay just keep on keeping on <laughs> gotta say this music is terrifying sounds about as good as I am at guitar which is to say strumming a few notes and then just giving up entirely. How can I read all that? So I think part of this, like I said, is that you're so... Oh, weird. Interesting. This is a huge thank you list. One of this means this is one of this guy's first games that he made. Sort of. I mean, you know, DigiPen is a... There's a college people can go to be up in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, be good. All right, let's try this again. Oh, now I'm the baby. Mm, I was. I don't like naps, so I would have probably had a bad time. With So much. I can't get behind naps, to be honest. Just go to sleep. Alright, let's crawl around. So we're here. Nope, you're not gonna get it, Grandma. <laughs> and this door. This family is just letting their child run wild. I really like that newspaper. Oh, I accidentally made a happy face. Clicking things way too fast. Yeah, I'm going for a stroll. Grab that thing, little buddy. Maybe it's a stinky butt. Well, you know, it's a 
reasonable response to all children, frankly. Look, we all have stinky butts, alright? That's, that's no way to judge a human being. Obviously, it's just like his own Play-Doh or whatever, but... Um, in a Flash player, for, for what it's worth. finish that one. Hey, look, I grew up. Oh, wait. I think I've not been paying attention close enough, and I guess when you finish the game and everything scrolls by, and they said maybe you can do everything over again, starting the game again is you actually going through that. I realize that is probably incredibly obvious to anyone that is watching this. And I'm not paid to point things like that out. I could have edited this. I could have started this over and made that way more clear and avoided this embarrassment, but I'm honest. Who would want to eat a frozen pancake? Definitely reminds me of that age. I really like, what, here's what I like about this. I like that you have these moments where there's like quite a lot of animation kind of going on, and then just these moments where then it cuts to a still picture, and you have like some really crude photoshopping happening to like sort of structure the scene in the way the designer wanted it to be set up. I think it's very. I think it's really cute. It's very endearing. Nope. You're not gonna get it. Alright, let's at least uh, make it through this next scene. there. Uh, this is uh, Be Good. It definitely seems to have sort of a uh, thematically cyclical element about, you know, someone at the end of their life looking back, being told, what if you could go back and do it all again, and then the game actually giving you a chance to sort of do that. I wonder if how much of the choices you're making are actually reflected in the ending you ultimately get, or if there's a deeply cynical <laughs> end to that where none of it really matters. But in any case, why don't we... Uh, while we move on to the next game. Hey everyone, and welcome to the final game, which actually is multiple games in one. It's called Experiment 12. Uh, it's a series of, of games from a number of noted game designers whose names uh, you're probably familiar with, especially if you follow a lot of the, the stuff that I'm a fan of. Tara Cavanaugh, VVV, VVV, Richard Perrin, Cairo, uh, Michael Bro. 
I'm not even sure that's how you pronounce his last name. Brow? Bro? Uh, Crypt. It's a game you can download on the computer and also on iOS. Jasper Bryan, known for Lone Survivor, a game that I really need to go back to at some point. Uh, so it's an experimental game, part of the reason why it's called Experiment 12. Uh, it's 12 chapters. Uh, the games are made over the course of three days each, but here's the trick. Uh, one game was made, then that was passed off to the next person, and they had to pick up uh, where the last person left off. Uh, it makes for something really, really strange, uh, and I think we should probably just go in order, so why don't we... Uh, I'm not sure how long we're going to check it out, but we'll give it a shot and let's start off with uh, Terry Cavanaugh's game, uh, Chapter 1. Chapter 1. All right, well, we've got a timer going. I'm unwell. I should probably go ahead and hit spacebar. Hey, buddy. Seems unwell. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the volume here on my headphones. Shouldn't be playing this during the day. I'm starting to get a vibe that maybe this should be something that is held over for Spookin' with Scoops next week. So maybe consider this a taste for, for something we'll return to. Ooh. Alright. So far, definitely, you can tell this is from the designer of VVVVVV. some food. Not super clear what I can do with that food. It's a really high spot that I fell from. Oh. Pretty simple control. Left, right. Space power doesn't appear to do anything. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Let's go ahead and avoid doing that again, huh? I got this, I got this. Got level one security card. Uh, whew, made it through. Those were some, <laughs> some fairly disturbing imagery there a second ago. Nauseous would definitely be accurate. Okay. Who? Who? Oh. Who? Oh, Jesus. I'm. Um, others gone now. So that's just okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I should have waited to see how that played out before I gave it a shot. Uh, so far, not treating my player character very well. Great. Just what I need. Level 2 security guard. Well, at least, uh, you know, those pesky enemies are no, lo <laughs> no longer a problem. Oh, phew. really should be thinking through those jumps a little bit better. Hell yeah, I found some food. going down on the left hand side I assume that's a meter yeah, this is just like some really weird version of doom oh 
what's gonna happen at the end? Uh, is there a goal? Is there a goal state? Is there a win state? What am I doing here? Okay. I don't have a choice here, guys. Okay, that was definitely really strange. Oh, well, hmm, hmm. Not treating my bro that well. Very sick. Oh. Down there. I'm up. <laughs> Terrible documents. There's no time to read these now. That's right. Metal 3 security card. I know I said I was going to go check out the other games, but what am I going to do? Like, stop checking this out right now? I'm going to see this through. I'm assuming these are not that long. Interesting. Alright, we're on to the second chapter. Your legs tremble and you grab the wall for support. Cool. Ah! Okay. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Your mind swarms in a thousand directions. Right, hug this wall. Made it. Oh, wow. That's creepy. Yes, you remember telling them. Sudden vision of colored trees. Yeah, I'm scrolling. I guess I just keep strolling. Feel as though you are watching yourself from another's perspective. You put the cords in your neck, they meter your heartbeats. My head is pounding. Okay. So it keeps that mechanic from the last chapter where all the enemies disappear. I try to express, but. A sudden vision of flight. These are fucking cool. God damn. So I'm holding forward and adding over to that black thing? I don't know. It seems like you have a limited amount of time to kind of just enjoy these bits before you just sort of glitch out, similar to that first person mode. You remember, you remember, you remember, you remember, you remember, you remember. I guess I remember. And... Okay, made it through. And... Made it through. You feel as though you are split. Holy shit. Okay, maybe not as tough as it seems. Oh, you slow down. Hmm. Ah. You do not read the documents. Well, they were top secret, so... I don't want to break the law. This 
sudden vision of organism. Uh, what? Count me as th thoroughly confused. Tricks on me now. For seconds do not reach. Okay. Let me just do it this way. Sorry, didn't didn't beat that. I gotta be near the end here. Smaller than and less aware. these moments and I like how the music builds and then you know that the moment has passed and I guess you just try and get as much as you can out of it or just enjoy the, the trippy visuals for as long as you can before they are stripped away from you there's that weird red thing at the top of the screen and could just very much easily just be a glitch but how am I supposed to know next to the thing the Let's just go ahead and know I'm going to screw this up. Yep. That was shocking. But when you don't get a second chance, it's not like it's trial and error. This can't go on for much longer. I'm not sure how this is supposed to go in anyway, but... At this point, the game's just saying, just visions, man. Just enjoy it. I don't even, this is nothingness. This is just colors. Manipulating them by moving back and forth, but... That is, I looked at way more of that than I expected to. Definitely got pulled into it. But that is uh, Experiment 12. There are 10 more chapters. I wish I had a chance to see what other designers like Richard Perrin and Jasper Bryan get up to in Experiment 12. But I'll just have to do that another time. Maybe on Spook Moose Scoops. Maybe on my own time. Uh, in any case, that's worth playing for this week. Uh, as always, uh, you know, links to the game are uh, featured at the beginning of each section. Uh, they are included in the YouTube description uh, and then you can uh, find links to them in, in the actual worth reading article itself uh, which goes up right around the same time uh, this goes live on the site all right I'll uh, enjoy your weekend and I'll see you guys next week <laughs>